In this video, we'll answer the question whether NF3 is polar or nonpolar. This is nitrogen trifluoride. So we'll start with the Lewis structure here. And you'll note that we're interested in these pair of electrons that are shared between the nitrogen and the fluorine atoms. So we're looking at the electronegativity, we're looking at the polarity first of the bond between the nitrogen and the fluorine. So if we look at the periodic table, we find fluorine right here, 3.98, nitrogen 3.04. So there's a relatively large difference between the nitrogen and the fluorine, the electronegativity. Since fluorine is more electronegative, we expect that these electrons that are shared will spend more time around the fluorine. That'll make it a little more negative. The nitrogen will be a little more positive. So for that reason, we do have polar bonds. Let's look at the molecular geometry though to figure out if the whole molecule is polar overall. So the purple, that'll be the central nitrogen atom. And then we're gonna add three fluorine atoms. One, two, three. And you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. But we still have that lone pair. So if we put this lone pair on, it'll actually force them down. It'll push them down. So now the fluorines are on the bottom and they're more electronegative. That means at the bottom of the molecule, it'll be more negative. The top, the nitrogen, that'll be more positive. So we have a positive pole and a negative pole. That means that NF3 is going to be a polar molecule. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, we said the bond between the nitrogen and the fluorine, each nitrogen and fluorine, that bond where these electrons, this pair of electrons is shared, they're being shared unequal because the fluorine is more electronegative than the nitrogen. That means the nitrogens, they'll be a little more negative. And because the molecular geometry has the fluorines on the bottom of the molecule, the nitrogen on the top, we have poles, NF3 is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.